case you're new here and have never seen this game, please be aware it is very bloody, it is very gory, it is very graphic, and can be very can be considered very triggering. So be aware of that. Um, as you play, I want to make sure be or as we play, I want to make sure be safe. Um, I'm saying that now at the beginning after we saw Mira's story last week. OMG, holy cow. So, anyway, I'm not feeling the greatest. I'm, I'm just going to say it. I'm not feeling the greatest. I think I might have bronchitis or something or getting bronchitis. So, if I seem a little less energetic or I just seem kind of like I'm struggling to breathe, it's just because I'm hurting so bad. Like, my back is hurting and I'm just hoping it's because the weather's been bad today, but I don't know. Hello, Jevil, and hello, Paul. So yeah, last week we got the uh, one about Mira, which was very triggering. OMG. And we can't do any more on here. Can't do any more on here yet, unfortunately. So we're gonna go into Carlos and figure out what's going on with Carlos. Why in the world did Carlos go crazy? <clears throat> Wait, this doesn't look like Carlos going crazy. This looks like somebody else going crazy. June. Suspicion. Oh boy. This already sounds like it's gonna be fun. This is... The pantry. Oh, hey Carlos, where's Junpei? No idea. He was already gone when I woke up. Acting kind of sus, Carlos. It's locked. Wait, did Junpei do this? You think he woke up first and then locked us in? Why would Junpei? It's been a long do that? time since you've seen each other, right? Maybe now he's Zero's accomplice. That's not possible. The Junpei I know would never do something like that to us. Oh my goodness. <laughs> Hello, MBFFE. How are you, my friend? Welcome. You're right. The Junpei you know would never do that to you. Oh. We see Junpei in a pod. I mean, as I said, after we saw that Junpei got killed so many times last t week, I have a feeling, yeah, <laughs> oh, we're definitely going to see some stuff. Oh, Sorry. It was just one of the possibilities. Junpei... You know, this has been on my mind for a while. But what exactly is he to you, Akane? It's hard to believe that you two just knew each other in grade school. Hello, Splishy! Uh, warning in advance, after last week. Uh, I'm gonna be saying a warning anytime anybody new comes in. This game is very bloody and gory. And has a lot of triggering stuff in it. So, advertisement, and I took that personally. <laughs> so, just be aware of that. Be careful. I don't want anybody to get triggered and have to leave the stream, or anybody get triggered and then have a bad night tonight. I'm doing all right. I think I might have a touch of, like, I think I might be getting bronchitis or a sinus infection. Shunpei. It could just be the weather, but I have been coughing, and it's been kind of, I've been kind of sore in my chest when I cough, and... I'm a little nervous. I hope I'm not getting anything major bad. He's very... Yes, he's very important to me. He's your boyfriend. All my life, I've never really had many friends to call my own. That's surprising. I would have taken you as the type guys and girls all fawn over in Japan. Oh, you're very... You've seen worse on YouTube? I don't know whether you have or not, Splishy. I legit had to age restrict the YouTube version, or YouTube's one, because of the violence in it. Very kind, thank you. But that's not exactly... Junpei always said, I was a girl who always said what shouldn't be said. <laughs> I never found myself bullied or anything, but it I still seemed to. as if people considered me something of an odd girl. Junpei was different. He told me he'd rush to my aid whenever I was troubled. Once, when we were young, 
I was crying over something and he faced the enemy alone. Oh, he faced the enemy alone. Worth the genetic sorrow. Oh, is that what that is? Cool. He sounds like he's a comic book hero. <laughs> yes. To me he is, at the very least. Oh my gosh. But this past year has completely changed him. Seems to me like he's the exact opposite now. If it was because of me somehow, then this time I need to rush to his aid. That's what I've decided anyway. You really like Junpei, don't you? What in the world are you saying, Carlos? I think Carlos has a crush on June. I'm sorry, Carlos. No. I'm out of my depth when it comes to romance. My co-workers do always come to me with their stories, though. So I can tell. Just by looking, I can tell if someone's in love. Does that mean there isn't anyone like that for you? That important? There is. A Junpei and Akane have been shipped ever since the beginning. The game has made it so. The game has made it so. I do not want her getting with Carlos. Why in the world? My controller got stuck on my ring light. I do not want her dating Carlos. No. I'll try not to ship, but I still think Akane and Junpei make a great team. I love my little sister very much. She's a sunshine on my life. Oh, so a sister complex. You have a, you have a little ha sister. Ha ha, you're horrible. Consider it payback for earlier. Now then, nothing will come from just sitting around here. How about we find a way out? Oh boy. Right. I bet you're eager to see your dearest love as soon as you can. He's acting like a guy who's got a crush on a girl. I'm sorry, he is. Yep, it's a puzzle room. It's oh, a Carlos! Ooh. Ooh! Oh no, that's disturbing. What is that blue doll? Oh my gosh, okay. We got a lot of crap. I want to find out what this blue doll is. What are you? Why do you have a hand? Is that some kind of blue doll in a right arm? This glass door is locked. A bunch of green lines are all over it too. There's an odd blue doll in what seems to be a right arm on the other side of the glass. I can see a bottle and a card on the other side of the glass. No, I don't. The store is locked. And what's up with all those park lines? Or pink lines? Okay, so... So we need to pay attention to those pink lines. What is this? Pushing these buttons should open the door. Oh my gosh, I am so sore tonight. Up, up, down, down. Left, right. It's not that code! Damn it, it's still locked. <laughs> the vote that killed D-Team that made Carlos do what he did? That could be it, I don't know. I thought I'd be able to kick this wooden door down. Zero wouldn't lock us in a place that'd be that easy to escape from. Let's keep looking. I know, that's why I was doing, that's why I was doing the Konami code. You know what the Konami code is, right? It's up, up, down, down, left, right, left, right, B, A. B, A. Start. I'm pretty sure. Oh my gosh! Get out of that. Unless they changed it on the board. Huh? What's this? Left door? Right door. Wow. That is a really loud dryer. Up, up, down, right, left, right, B, A, start. Okay, that's what I thought. Alright. Up, up, down, down, left, right, B, A, start. Left door 
is on the right. The right door is on the left. Why is this gotta be so freaking confusing? It's round. Maybe it's a knob for a machine? Round part. A round yellow part. If you look closely, you can see a tiny triangle. Maybe it's a machine part? Didn't we already decide that? Let's... Oh, oh, Carlos, the potatoes are cut up into round pieces. You're right, time to fire up the grill and make some potato fries. Chow down. On second thought, I don't feel much like eating while we're stuck here. You know, I remember doing a school science experiment with potatoes before. Oh, is that the one where you make the light turn on? With the potato? Ah! I was not expecting that. Ah, this is a left arm. Pretty sure it's fake. Damn, no use. It's locked on the wrist. There's a spot for a key. Maybe there's one around here somewhere. Oh my gosh, there's a leg. Eek! This is... True American always said speak English. A left leg? Is Zero trying to scare us? Oh, it's powder to make gelatin? Gelatin powder is mostly for baking, but it has uses in everyday cooking, too. Oh, Carlos, I didn't know you liked to cook. My mom's the one I've seen her use it on stew or pasta sometimes. What a nice mother. I'm a little jealous. It was a long time ago, but the memory is still so clear in my head. And the leg. This lid looks so real. Disgusting. What the hell, Zero? Putting something like that in here? That's the box I already looked at. Okay. Okay. Gelatin recipe. A recipe for gelatin. It's nice of them to draw it out, but it's kind of vague. How is that vague? That is not vague. You put the powder with the water, and you boil it, and then you refrigerate it. Gelatin! If there's a recipe, then there's probably ingredients, too. We should make some and give it to Junpei when we see him. I made it just for you. No, I'm not bold enough to say something like that. That's too bad. A girl like you saying that would definitely capture his heart. I mean, how hard? I, I don't understand what he, why he thinks this is so hard. It's so standard. Powder water. You boil the water. You pour the powder in it. You stir it up. You put it in the fridge. And you can pour it. You can also pour it in a mold like they're doing here. Yeah, you said pod room was the hardest one. I don't understand how... I don't understand how that's so hard. Um, let's see if we're gonna find any more dead body parts laying around. Oh, some crackers. These would go perfectly well with tea. Packaging makes them look good, but I can't say I have much of an appetite. I mean, after seeing two arms and a leg, I can understand. There are a lot of car cans here. It's frustrating even with the walkthrough, and that's why I say it's the hardest. Yeah. But none of them are labeled. I wonder what they hold. I don't know. Why don't we open one up and find out? Let's see. There's nothing we can use here. Heck, maybe those are the mold. Okay, here's the gelatin making screw up thing. The power seems to be off on this, on this machine. Doesn't the hole in this panel look like a gingerbread man? I wonder what it could be. Hey, Carlos, do you think we could put something in this hole? Yeah, you're right. What do we have that might fit? Gelatin. Um, but we don't have the water right now. We gotta find the water. I'm gonna get some candy. No worries, no worries, Jen. Ew! Again! Ah, this is a... A right leg. Is Zero trying to scare us with mannequin parts? I guess we're gonna have to start putting the mannequin together. 
if it'll let me pick it up. Yeah, me too. I like when returning actors appraise their role. Hey, Carlos, this part looks sort of like a drawer. But cool. Nope. Can't open it without a handle. Okay. I think they reprise your role in the 999 port, so for this game, that was her first time. Oh, really? If we put the correct password in the door, should in, the door should open. Four digits. Okay, let's give it a shot. Uh... No thanks. <laughs> I don't have all my info yet. Alright, there's gotta be a way. This box here said something about left door, right door. Left door on the right, right door on the left. And you got one, two, three, four, five, six potatoes. Circular potatoes. I'm, I've got to be missing something. Because there is like, there's nothing that has given me any hint on where the water might be or any hint on how to open any of these doors. Hi, Laria. Yeah, we don't have anything. We don't have anything. Okay. I have a feeling we're putting this mannequin together. I'm guessing these buttons are how you open the lock. So it's six. A six button combo. What seems to be a right arm? Okay, I'm trying to figure out how you will get... I'm trying to find where you see what this is. Like, I'm trying to find where you see what that is. We haven't found anything that explains that yet. Like, I haven't found anything that explains the weird patterns. This light's a little strong. My eyes hurt looking at it. I'm guessing it was put here for a better lighting. But yeah, it's a little too bright. Well, is there a way to turn it off? Oh, all Hill, Alley Hills originally voiced young Akane. They didn't get Troy Baker to return to Sigma, though. Aw, oh, man. There has to be a way to turn off these lights. It's a bright light, nothing strange but its brightness. This timeline thumbnail looked like Akane had an axe. Yeah. She had an axe, which I'm wondering if that means she's gonna go after... After, um... Since when does Matt Mercer do a bad job? Yeah, Matt Mercer's always good. Wondering if she's gonna go after Carlos. Okay. There has to be a way to turn out these lights. There has to be something. There has to be a place to turn out these lights. Like, there has to be. Because I don't know how else you're gonna get this puzzle room's solution. Because I'm pretty sure I've dug through everything in this puzzle room. Like, we can't open this door. And I don't know this code. have this round part. Can I use that to turn on a light or something? Okay, yes, the machine powered on. This depression in the panel must be the power switch. Let's see if we can use it. Well, now the power's on, but what's with the rest of this hole? I don't know, maybe our hand goes in? I would not trust that. I would not trust that. Nothing's happening. Just what is this for? This is the mold, you dummy. Is there anything that can shit fit? Not shit. <laughs> is there anything that can fit in this small man-shaped hole? No, because I don't have water. And I don't have a- I, I need water. I need water. 
We can use this to heat or cool items. I don't think warming or cooling this will do anything. Golly! I mean, the only thing that's gonna fit in there is gonna be the... the gelatin. So, am I- this is the water. So am I supposed to know the code somehow? Did I miss it? Left door. Right door. I mean, I'm not finding the hint. I'm not- I'm not finding the hint, is the thing. I thought that this would be the hint, but that's not the hint. The only other thing we have is this. And it says, powder and water make gelatin. And you put it in there, and that's how- and that's how you get it to work, power source-wise. Like, I see that there's a hint on this door, but how do you figure out this hint? You would think you would need to figure it out, um, by turning the light off or something. Can I look at this hint closer, please? I, I, I don't, I don't know. I don't know. I guess I'll keep looking around. We've already found all the body parts, I'm assuming, so we don't have to find any more. What's wrong with the air duct, Carlos? Nothing. I just thought maybe we could get out that way. <laughs> oh my gosh, she's such a dork. Yeah, you could totally fit in that small hole, Carlos. It's way too small, even for me. You're right, we'll have to think of another way. Um... But yeah, I'm obviously missing the hint got over, down, diagonal, down. Could that be a hint? I mean, at this point in time, you have to kind of just like... I never caught that air duck line since I'm so used to not looking up in Zero Escape games. I'm sorry! Maybe there's a hint somewhere. Yeah, we haven't found the hint, obviously. Red? I'm just trying to find the hint so that I can open this door and get this water. But I'm not finding it. The box here contains some crackers. Let's get together and eat some when we escape. Did I already check these? Oh gosh, no I didn't. Ooh, I did not check that. Okay, I didn't realize that was doors. Okay. Go. what is this? Is this a, a torso? Huh? This is... It says iodine solution. Oh no, I know what we gotta do. I know what we gotta do. Carlos, is this real? Why would you think that, Akane? It's just a realistic fake. You're right, it, it couldn't be real. Oh gosh. Oh no. Do I dare open this other side? Okay, it's not letting me open this other side. Alright. It's obvious when you found the right hint. If you keep hearing, we need a hint, it means you haven't found it. Yeah, I figured that out. I need to do this iodine on these potatoes. To reveal a hidden message. Don't potatoes change when iodine solution is dropped on them? Yes, the starch reacts with the iodine and turns purple. Oh, look! Letters appeared! Oh, that makes sense. Okay. That must mean the experiment was successful. Yep. 
So the left door is down, up, down, left, left, right, and the right door is right, left, left, down, up, down. Okay. Uh, it's almost like Harry, Harry's cousin. Harry's cousin is named Dudley. Okay. Oops. Down, up, down, left, left, right. Huh? The letters on the potatoes were a hint after all. Yep. Well, I remember doing that. I don't know why I remember that science experiment. Probably because when I was like in, when I was like 10, I was having anxiety attacks all the time. And I didn't like grow out of having anxiety attacks over stupid stuff until way out of high school. And uh, I mean, I still have anxiety attacks, but like I would have anxiety attacks over dying. So when my teacher said, if you drink iodine, you'll die. And this was when we did a potato experiment. That gave me an anxiety attack. I didn't want to touch the iodine. I never would have imagined something I learned in grade school would help me now. Wait, something's on the screen. Oh no. Oh, I, okay, okay. This turned around there. They all need to be connected, I'm assuming. Somehow, they all need to be connected. <laughs> I'll do those in a minute. Oh no, we made a mistake somewhere. No, I know what it is. Why has he got the right arm? I doubt it's real. But, uh, there's no reason to keep looking at this creepy thing. The arm can't be removed, but we can take the doll. Oh, you can rotate the die entirely? Okay, I didn't know that. Carlos, the blue doll, it feels cold. It was in the refrigerator. Of course it's cold. It makes me think of those cold packs you use when you have a fever. I doubt anyone would ever put that doll on their face, Akane. I didn't know you could rotate the die entirely. <coughs> As I said, I think I'm getting bronchitis. Oh, wow. Oh, that's a lot of- that's a lot- oh, that's a lot. Okay, okay. One at a time, one at a time, Pegasus. One at a time. Don't let this break your brain. Okay. All right. All right. Okay. I mean, I know it's probably really easy. I just feel like I'm supposed to connect them all somehow. It's not... It's not, like, hard, per se. I really don't think it's that hard. Did I get it already? No. Um. Oh. Oh, that didn't line up. Oh, some of them aren't lining up. Okay. Yeah, I know. I know what I'm supposed to do. I, I, I know what I'm supposed to do. Huh. It's not as easy as it looks. Anyway, I'm gonna go ahead and unlock this door because I need the, the water. Alright, I need to go back up and chat for a minute to see what the letters were. Ah! Alright. Um... Right, left, left, down, up, down. Right, left, left, down, up, down. That's on this side. Right, left, left, down, up, down. All right. 
Right, left, left, down, up, down. Get the water so that I can get the power source fixed. <laughs> so the reaction to the iodine test on the potatoes was the hint for the store. And now we can get to the things inside. Why is there an I voted sticker here? Are these instructions? Show us a doll. Is it saying we should heat it up? Warm. Cool. I don't want to heat this thing up. No. It's a bottle with water in it. Hmm, could be useful. Let's take it with us. Maybe I got the hint from another source. That's epic. Reads left hand doll. Oh. I don't read. Oh, oh, but there I go. Okay, I see it now. I'm like tilting my head trying to see it. I see it now. It's because the green is so white that it was a little hard to see. Left hand doll. <laughs> the green highlight, yeah. Zero has terrible handwriting. Left hand plus doll, huh? Okay. Hmm. It's, if it's supposed to be a math equation, shouldn't we change the words to numbers? We'll worry about that in a minute. That is cool detail. Uh, okay, that lined up. Whoops. All right. Okay, that's lined up. Like there was a bug crawling on me. Okay. All right. Is this one lined up? Okay. All right. Did I screw something up? for all my life until yesterday when I did some paperwork. I've always had bad handwriting. Everybody's always told me, if you just slow down, you would write better. I was like, I don't feel like slowing down, okay? When I write, I want to write fast so that I can get the info down quickly. That's what a Ravenclaw does. Carlos, look! The drawer! Let's see what's in it. Some kind of mold? Mold! Alright. Alright. Um. Yeah, I'm a Ravenclaw. I 100% know that I'm a Ravenclaw. I don't think warming or cooling this will do anything. What? I thought it would fit. It's the same shape. It's just a little too big. Huh. I can't... There we go. Put some gelatin powder into the mold. With water. Good job. Now all we need to do is cool it, and then we'll have made some gelatin. This kind of feels like I'm on a cooking show. We'll call it Zero Time for Cooking with Carlos and Akane. Zero Time. Ah, uh, you're funny. And I had the secondary Ravenclaw. Ooh. No point putting it in as it is now. Oh yeah, because it's just gonna die. All right, let's stick it back here. There's nothing here. Can I not stick it in the refrigerator?
Hufflepuffs are loyal and hardworking. To change the temperature, let's try it. Change the temperature to warm, cool. Uh, cool. Let's cool this down. Oh, it turned solid. Now we have gelatin. This depression. Maybe we can put the gelatin in it? Huh? I heard a sound from below the machine. Oh, look! The drawer at the bottom opens! A key! Huh? Hey, that's a... A key! Wonder what it's for! Man, I need to eat some gelatin soon. I haven't had gelatin in ages. I used to get, like, because where I work, sometimes it's nice to have snacks. I used to get, like, the strawberry jello in the little pudding cups. Oh, so good. That is Swiss Miss Pudding. Oh. Now I've been, I've been addicted to, like, uh, pretzels and apples and bananas and strawberry smoothies. <laughs> Okay, before we do anything. Cool blue doll, it feels so nice. I don't want to stop high holding it. We can change the temperature. Let's try it. How about we try warming it up? Look at that. The color turned a pale pink. You've been trapped in that refrigerator so long that his skin turned blue. Feel kind of bad for this little guy now. One, two, three, four. Oh. Is that legit your idea of a code? Four digits, each from zero to nine. That's over a hundred thousand combinations. Okay, then. A four-digit number. Is there a hint in here? So something about the doll on the left arm? That's the body. That's the torso. That's the right arm. That's the leg. Hello, Izuku! This arm, it's handcuffed and affixed to this bar. Is there a reason for that? You've stopped watching Scott Pilgrim? Junpai became Zero's accomplice. A wooden door. It's locked. I have a key. Since it's not letting me do anything. It's pretty small. What's it for? Man, I may not be able to go very long tonight, guys. I don't know. Let's try using it with every keyhole we find. <clears throat> if this keeps up, and I still feel like this tomorrow, I'm going to the doctor. It's not opening. This isn't the key for the door. What was the- where was another key? There was another something or other with a key. Yeah, I think I might be getting, uh, bronchitis. Go. the door to this freezer is locked. Won't budge. I mean, I'll be okay. It's just I'm gonna have to go to a doctor before it gets too bad. Because I've had bronchitis before and it almost turned into the, to pneumonia. I've had it like three times before and it almost turned into pneumonia. So I'm probably going to be going to the doctor tomorrow if I still feel like this. Um. And I say tomorrow, I mean like a walk-in clinic, obviously. Who smoke or how do you... Uh, bronchitis isn't, isn't, isn't because of smoke. Bronchitis is because your, your lungs get gunk in them. Nobody in my family smokes. I have asthma, and that's usually because somebody smoked, but I got asthma because of allergies, like really, really bad allergies. Um, I don't 
don't know where this key goes. Alright. Let's see here. Not all turn pale. The number one, two, three, four is on its stomach. Look close. I thought it was ketchup, but it looks like it was written with blood. Ketchup? Really? You have to admit that it'd be pretty funny. Zero using ketchup to write this out? Left hand plus doll. Hmm. If it's supposed to be a math equation, shouldn't we change the words to numbers? There's a keyhole here. Oh, there's a keyhole on the handcuffs. Okay. Okay. Left hand plus doll. Got it. You can get bronchitis when people smoke near you. Maybe this is the key for the handcuff? Yes, the arm has been freed. Something's written on the palm. Five, two, and a six? A nine? I think it's six, two, five. Hmm, the number on the head, the number on the hands could be read upside down too. Yeah, they could be. But yeah, you can get it when people smoke near you, but most of the time bronchitis is because you got like a sinus infection that went unchecked, or you got really bad allergies, which I have had this week, really bad allergies, that even though I've been taking my inhaler like I'm supposed to, has not been going away. So you can get bronchitis because of that. Um, Let's unlock this one too. Maybe this key will work on the handcuff. Yes, it worked, we got an arm. This is the right arm. Oh gosh. Are we gonna have to pick up all of the arms? Are we gonna have to pick up all the body parts? Oh, I don't wanna. Okay, I can't pick that up yet. Alright, one, two, three, four, plus five, two, nine, or six, two, five. Um. Six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty, twenty-one, twenty-two, twenty-three, twenty-four. Just the arm. Twenty-four. Okay, so twenty-four. That's what I got. Left hand plus doll. If it's supposed to be a math equation, shouldn't we change the words to numbers? I, how is that a math equation? One, two, three, four. Oh, wait. Oh, I just thought of something. So that could be 525, and this could be 1,234. Okay. Calculator time, because I suck at math. Yeah, well, like, I've had, like, pain, kind of, like, in my lung area. I want to actually solve it. Five, two, five, plus one. I don't want to ask you about the answer to the equation until after I've tried to solve it myself. One, seven, five, nine is one of them. So we're going to try one, seven, five, nine real fast, and then if that one doesn't work... We'll try the other way around. Oh, I don't mind using the calculator. Four digits, each from zero to nine. One, seven, five, nine. Okay, not the right one. All right. Wrong again. What's the right answer? Remember, when the refrigerator doors overlap, there was an equation, right? Maybe the answer to that will help us out here. I already know. Mm, I already know. Get it. All right. Uh, one, two, three, four. Oh, I did five, two, five, not five, two, two, six. So one, seven, six, oh. Whoops, I didn't mean to do that. Okay, so it's the other way around. So it's 
It's a different number. Okay. Let me go look back at the... The creepy hand thing. Alright, 529 and 625. Your best trait, so your airwave is being inflamed right now. Yeah, that's basically what it is. It's it's not asthma because I've been taking my daily inhaler. It's not an asthma attack, and I can tell it's not an asthma attack. It's really weird. You can tell the difference between asthma attacks, anxiety attacks, and allergies a lot of the time, or and like bronchitis or cold a lot of the times. But I can tell it's not an asthma attack. Because I just took my inhaler before I started streaming. So, it's something because there's gunk. And I'm, like, sore in the area where my lungs are when I cough and things. And, like, I just have gunk running down the back of my throat. And I've had kind of sinus pressure, too. So, it's probably a sinus infection that went unchecked and I need to get some meds. I mean, it's not too bad to have asthma. A friend owes you $25 on Steam. Good luck with that. Alright, 529 and then 625. Alright. 529, 625. Oops. Yeah. Five, two, nine, plus one, two, three, four. Two. Oh, it, it totally messed up. Okay. Clear all. One, two, three, four, plus five, two, nine, equals one, seven, six, three. Yeah, that's why I don't I don't give people that are online friends money unless I know them personally. Or unless they're a streamer. The 20th of April. Alright. One, seven, six, three. Alright, nine two five. Oh my gosh. Oh, I'm not. I'm not feeling it tonight, guys. I'm sorry. Plus five, two, not five, two, nine. Six, two, five. One, eight, five, nine. There we go! Completed. I think I had Russian relay with bronchitis. Sometimes it happens, sometimes it does not. Left hand plus doll was the hint for the freezer. Uh huh. Yes, but it only opened the cover. We have another step. Maybe the warm doll's hand will work on this thing? Is this you joking or being serious, Carlos? I'm just kidding. Ha ha ha. This right arm is a fake. It's strangely cold. It's in a fist, too. Oh, does that mean... No, I really don't think it wants to win at rock, paper, scissors. It probably has to be warmed up. Maybe the right hand will work. But it's clenched tight in a fist. We have to figure out how to open it. Oh. oh, gross, I don't want to. We can change the temperature. Let's try it. Maybe if we heat up this up, something will change. Microwaved hand. Uh, the hand, it opens. It got all warm and soft. Soft. Ugh, this whole gimmick is really gross. Ugh. Alright, 
we were right. This was the hand we needed to authenticate. I wonder what's inside. Let's open the door. Oh gosh, what's about to happen? Thank you, Devil. I don't think we're done yet. <laughs> no! No way, you've got to be kidding me! Junpei. Wow. I I don't think this is fake. This is definitely not fake. There's an axe and a chainsaw. That ain't fake. Now announcing the current casualties. D team, Diana, Bye. Sigma, C team, Junpei. These four are now deceased. They need two more. As a result, four X passes will be revealed. We probably were Lim using Junpei's ribs. Milk. Jump. That is Aww. all. Horrible. So horrible. Who would do such a thing? Oh, shit. This room is locked. So, the one who killed Junpei is. Carlos? <gasps> no! Are you freaking kidding me right now? No! Oh my god! Damn it! Damn it! Break damn you! <sighs> wow! I thought he was gonna kill her. Uh, uh, Connie? Uh, oh my gosh, she's gonna try to break the door with the chainsaw! <laughs> that ain't gonna work! <laughs> That thing is made of wood. Why isn't it breaking? What the heck? <laughs> well, it broke. Well, because she's a girl. Girls don't get that kind of dirty stuff all over their bodies. Junpei has his, has his expected. Yeah, unfortunately. <laughs> Reinforced wood makes sense. Uh, Junpei. Aww. Why? Why? I just don't know anymore. Damn it. Who would have thought this would happen? All I Not wanted me. was to get that five hundred thousand dollars. What? If only I what? Five hundred thousand dollars? Can you share some of that with me, man? I'd be rolling in dough. I could save her. Just save Maria. Maria? That's all I wanted. And now... Reverie Syndrome? Ah, for example... Hmm... Oh, his Say there's a PC with basic low-end components. If we played a number of videos all at once on it, what would happen? Sensory overload. The processing speed slows down, of course. It's not much better than if the computer had froze. What? That sounds like Timbioji. What's happening with your younger sister is similar. So you're saying this isn't carbon monoxide poisoning, but... Right. With Maria, her brain and nervous system seem to be perfectly fine. We couldn't figure out the cause until now. Other well, I mean, it could still be the same voice actor of Tim Miyoji, but it sounds like Tim Miyoji, is what I'm saying. Other patients with the same symptoms began appearing recently. Radical Six. And they have. Reverie Syndrome. A variety of moments flicker in and out of the mind, as if one was constantly dreaming. Why are we singing Christmas songs? That's why it's called the Daydream or Reverie Syndrome. There have been no complete recoveries as of yet. However, it seems with the newest medical technology, a few cases have been successful at relieving the symptoms. Interesting. Then please, you must do the same for her. Does little Maria have insurance? That is 
the problem with the United States. That is a problem with the United States. Just saying. I don't normally get political, but if you don't have insurance, you're pretty, pretty much screwed. Like, I looked, before I got a full-time job with insurance, I looked at, like, all the insurance sites online they had. And they were charging me an arm and a leg for insurance. And I didn't have that kind of money. You uh, do, do understand, understand what's, what's required, required for treatment, treatment yes? yes? If I did, she'll... Maria will... So that means I... I absolutely can't die here. That's why you killed Junpei, isn't it? But he didn't... What? What did you say? You why? figured you needed to kill someone to save your sister. No! And that's that... why you... That's not the whole reason he said that. Well, what, what are you talking about? Don't play dumb! Did you forget that you and I are the only ones in this ward? So it's obvious the killer is... Ugh, it had to have been you, Car The dog is just noping the fuck out of there. <laughs> oh my gosh. Carlos. Yeah. C -c Connie, calm down. I am calm. No, you're not. Uh, okay, okay, you're right. Trigger warning, guys. I'm the only other one here. But I... Oh no, it was definitely you who killed him! He has an axe behind his back, Akane, no! Wait, stop! You say that, but maybe you're the one who really did it! Danger what did you indeed. say? You were the one who killed Junpei! And now, you're going totally nuts with that chainsaw! I don't believe this! No matter what, even if the world went topsy-turvy this very second, I'd... Oh my gosh! So, I'm going to be the next one you kill, huh? If two more people die, you can return to your darling little sister. Hey now! If you kill me, I'm your assuming, probability yeah. of escape gets pretty high. Is she not? What? Why'd she run away? She doesn't want you to Did kill you her. Did you feel too threatened by me with this axe? Think. Calmly. Think it over again. It's what just happened? like any other Code 3. Once 90 minutes are up, an injector in your bracelet will activate. An anesthetic and an agent to erase your memories will be administered. My god. Okay. So after we voted at 1330, we were hit with the anesthetic. And the we awoke in the pantry after 1800. It's four hours of time not accounted for. What was I doing during that time? Sleeping? Was I really sound asleep then, or... I just can't remember what happened because of the drugs I was given. Yeah, it, it, there's a lot of remixes from 999 in here, Jevil. Maybe Akane was right, and I... What? Blackout? Oh, no. no. Akane had run off towards control. Oh, no. It might be possible to turn off the lights there. So she did kill Junpei? Oh, no. And she's coming for me. Oh, gosh, no! Oh, no. Oh, no. <sighs> what do I do? What the no. hell should I do? No. No. Nope and out. Nope the fuck out of there, man. You hear a chainsaw, you run. Chainsaw men are bad. Okay, speaking of chainsaw men, I've told this story on stream before, but I'll tell it again because obviously chainsaw. Um, when I was like in my early 20s, I went to a haunted corn maze with some of my friends. And um, it was a haunted corn maze and we went at like nine o'clock at night to get through it um and i was with like two or three people like everybody got separated i was only with like two or three people and these two chainsaw men like these two chainsaw men came after me 
all right? They came after me. Like, they legit came after me. So, like, they're zooming their chainsaw and walking toward me with their chainsaw pointing at me. And I literally run one way. And then there's another one on the other side of the maze who's also got his chainsaw coming toward me. And I literally run the other way and jump. It was like a Scooby-Doo jump into one of my friend's husband's arms. <laughs> it was a legit Scooby-Doo jump. Um, yeah, that was bad. <laughs> that was so crazy. Only, rationally, who is the most threatening person here right now? Whoever it was who killed Junpei. That was crazy. So what I need to do is remove that person. Even if it ends up being me. Oh shit, okay. No! What the hell am I thinking? There's no way it could be me. So then... How are you 100% then... sure though? Ah! There you are! Oh no. Damn it! Just who did it? Oh no. Well, you're not gonna know. Cause someone is about to die. And I get to decide who. Nope, nope, nope. The dead cannot. <laughs> the dead cannot kill anyone. <laughs> uh, no, I'm gonna go with Akane. Cause she seemed pretty threatened when he said she might have killed him. I mean, we'll get another chance at it. That's right. Akane. I don't know how we're gonna kill her with an axe when she has a freaking chainsaw. She has to be the one who killed Junpei. Turn around, you idiot! Die! Okay. I probably shouldn't be saying this on, on stream, but if you're gonna kill somebody and you're actually sneaking up behind them to kill them, screaming die at the last second is a surefire way you ain't gonna kill them. Akane, why did you kill him? I told you I didn't. throwing face. I didn't kill him! You are going crazy. Oh no. <gasps> wow. She got the chainsaw too close to her. Or he lost an arm or something. I didn't see what happened exactly. I just seen the... He lost his left hand, to be precise. Wow! An axe did that much damage? <sighs> oh my gosh! Carlos! Oh, I knew it! You... No! He was acting in self-defense! I didn't kill! Junpei, I'm sorry. I couldn't avenge you. Wow. Akane? You idiot, you hit her with an axe. What do you expect her to do, I, dance? I just killed... Yeah, you did. <laughs> oh my gosh. He lost an arm, she lost her life. Wow. Oh, 
苦。We say Carlos. Whatever this other decision is leads to the library. Really? Okay, this is probably going to be triggering because I think he's probably going to do something to himself. So, warning, guys. Of course, Akane. She'd never do something like that to Junpei. He's very. Yes. yes, he's very, he's very important, important to me. If that's the case, then I'm... I'm the only one who could have killed him. It might have been a demon possessing me. Or maybe it was some kind of parasite. Or I'm under hypnosis? Whatever it was, I'm... Regardless of the reason, yeah. I was the... And then I forgot I did it because of the damn amnesia drug. I mean, that could be a case. Like, I, I can imagine that would be hard. To not know what you're doing, what you've done in the last 90 minutes. Oh, I haven't read these yet. If metempsychosis really exists, what are the chances you are an intelligent life form in your next life as opposed to everything else? Taking a number of things into account, everything else has a much greater chance. But if you were reborn as a duck, frog, or even a paramecium, there would be no way you'd be able to know and recognize your own existence. In effect, it's not any different from being a sponge or a rock. That being said, rocks and sponges don't have wills of their own, aside from a few notable exceptions. So you wouldn't care about your next life. Why would you? An example, you're in a totally dark room with a die in front of you. If you roll a 1, the light turns on, but any other number keeps the light off. You can roll it as many times as you wish, so what will the dice number be when you see it? 1, of course, because you can't see any other result. Another example, the whole world and everything on it stops in the next second, exactly a minute later, disregarding who would be the one timing this. It all starts up again. No one will even notice that time stopped. In other words, there's no point to considering that one minute, as you can't say that it even existed. It's the same as being reborn, a duck, frog, or yellow sponge. The die in the dark and the halted world. There are scholars who claim that if metempsychosis is absolutely true, you're guaranteed to be reborn as an intelligent life form. It's possible this is a result of the observable selection effect, an aspect of the anthropic principle. Also known as the daydream syndrome, the brain cannot handle the amount of information entering the brain and in effect shuts down. The cause of the syndrome is currently unknown. Okay. All right, let's see what happens. Carlos? Don't come any closer. I'm dangerous. My body moves against my will. I might kill you next. Aww. If that's how it is, then... <gasps> Carlos, no! <laughs> We don't know that. Why did this happen? He thinks he did, but we can't remember. Why were you... Mom. Dad. I won't let anyone die. You just let your... Alright. 
All right, let's see. This one looks like it has Junpei in it, so I'm 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 needing some of Junpei's sarcasm right now. <laughs> Poison. The infirmary. Uh, guess we were locked in here while we were unconscious. Huh? It opened! So that means... We weren't locked in? But why are we here then? Who knows? Hmm. 1810. Greetings, C-Team. Hello. How are you feeling? Zero. Before we begin, I shall tell you an old story. Oh my goodness. Seventeen years ago, a woman was killed. I, I still have plenty of endings for this team. There's still a couple that are new. Yeah, we do need Junpei sarcasm okay. after that. Okay, month later, a male suspect was located and arrested for her death. He claimed innocence, but the jury found him guilty. The verdict could not be overturned, and thus the man was executed. In her grief, the man's wife took her own life. Two young children were left behind. Wow. She left two children? We moved to several years later. New DNA analysis results proved that the man's claims were true. He was falsely convicted. The true culprit remains at large. Their identity is still unknown. Okay, what's the point of this story, Zero? How do you want us to kill each other right now? Unfair. Don't you think? Ah, uh, more of these pointless stories. Yeah, he's getting ready to tell us how we're gonna kill everybody. Say, perhaps, one day you woke up and found yourself injected with poison. That's not too odd to happen to someone. Just as it has to you. What? W what? <laughs> if you do nothing, the six of you will fall asleep. Six of us? Only to never regain consciousness again. Six of us? There's only three of us in this room. Ooh. Six. Fuck you, asshole. <laughs> you tell him, Dupay. The antidote is in that room. Find it. Good luck. We've been poisoned? I don't feel different, but I doubt he was lying to us just then. He wouldn't lie about that. <sighs> we better get to finding this antidote. I didn't make it to today just to end like this. I need to do what I'm here to do. I can't die. He's got a ring. You're right. Let's all get through this together. Yes, let's. We'll find the way to stay alive. We're all in this together. Why am I singing High School Musical? I don't know. Deal with it. <laughs> Seek a way out. All right, well, we won't have any more bloody stuff right now, hopefully. This is some kind of barcode reader. So that means we'll probably have to use it somewhere. Okay. I hear a heartbeat in the background. That's not creepy at all. Huh? I thought the scanner would turn on if I press this button. It's not doing anything. That's because we need a memory card. Anything behind this poster? Nope, not even a hole. Oh, I think this is a power box. I think so too, but guh! It's shut tighter than a pickle jar. Let's leave it alone. We might get shocked if we're not careful. This plant looks pretty dead. Doesn't seem to be anything hidden in here. We should keep searching around. A stethoscope? We used to play around with one of these when we were kids. Don't you dare put that on me, Junpei! Is that her way of saying put that on me? <laughs> it's a white lab coat. Hey, Akane. 
It's that male fantasy, right? I'm not putting that thing on unless I need to. Cut <laughs> so fast. Ruining a guy's dream. What song am I singing? It's poor paint. It's all withered. The store is really well made. I don't know payphone. I can't sing it if I don't know it. It doesn't lock. We can head into the lounge anytime we want. We better find the antidote in this room first. I've told you that before, that if you give me a song I don't know, I'm not going to sing it. Is this a poster here? The poor plants, it's all withered. Hello. A woman holding a candle? It appears to be a silk screen. A picture that is printed on cloth. This thing makes me feel uneasy for some reason. I can't imagine why. This is a humidifier. Your skin dries out during the winter. Humidifiers are very helpful. Never thought about that. Must be rough. A normal chair. Doesn't look like it's been messed with at all. Well. Oh, hi. Uh, consultation desk. So Junpei Timioji, what seems to be the problem today? Please, Doc, you gotta help me. I think I've been poisoned too soon. I I don't really care what I want to say. I don't really care. Why are the two of you joking around? We don't have time for this. Looks like this canister still has something inside, but what is it? It's liminal spray. Liminal relaxes to the hemoglobin in blood. It's used a lot to investigate crime scenes. Maybe we can use it here. Um, I'm trying to think of a good song to sing. No reaction here. Oh, I can just spray it everywhere. Um, all right. No reaction here. I don't know that song. I don't know the ninja song. I don't know it. I'm sorry. Can you get that out of my thing? A shelf. Pretty normal one, too. Doesn't look like the antidote's here. Let's check somewhere else. Oh my goodness. Um. That's a sparkly thing. A syringe. Time to take your medicine, Junpei. If only you've been wearing a lab coat while you said that. Okay, cool. I don't know Mario Odyssey songs. We're gonna spray the luminol. I'm gonna- I'm thinking of a song right now. Just give me a sec. No reaction. Okay. Um... You let Jevil choose a song. I don't know Jump Up Superstar. I can do... I am the master of disguise. I can vanish from your eyes. I can be in different places with my many funny faces in disguise. Sometimes it's so nifty when I'm really, really shifty in disguise. It's disguise time. It's so easy to deceive you with my sneaky little tricks and make you believe each character that I pick. Whoa! Something's appearing! <laughs> Hello, spirit! Something's written on the locker with blood? Oh no, this looks like math and I'm gonna cry. Hmm, it's locked. We need the combination to open it. Are you serious? Is this seriously what it is? Five, two... I'm gonna laugh. I'm gonna laugh so hard. Really? That's it? 
I had to unlock all of these by looking at the combination. Okay. And it's unlocked. I'll take that. Th there is... Okay. 693. Six. Nine. Oh, I think I got it. It's unlocked. Good job, Carlos. Nothing in this locker. This is probably the easiest puzzle puzzle I've had to do in my life. They literally just gave me all the answers. They're just right there on the lockers. This is a cube puzzle. Is he making us solve this? Ah, oh, come on. Give me a break. You never did like those puzzles, did you? Even when we were kids. Let's do our best. I don't wanna. Cube-shaped puddle, puzzle, though all the parts aren't fitting together right. Yeah, I'm probably gonna have to go to the doctor tomorrow if I keep feeling the way I'm feeling. What are those, huh? Taking it apart, putting it together over and over? My head hurts. This could get a little stressful and cause lasting traumatic harm to kids, apparently. Uh, okay, we'll deal with that later. 313. 313. Failed! What is the combination wrong? It's not opening. It's kind of hard to read, but I think it's maybe one and eight. No, this is a three and a nine. All right, one, uh, eight, one, three. Eight, one, three. Hmm. Do I know number one, Victory Royale? No, I don't. One, three, nine. Oh, there we go. Okay. I don't, I don't watch Fortnite stuff. I've never been used to, I've never played Fortnite. I've never been into Fortnite. Oh, good. It unlocked. There's nothing in here. Let's check the others. Let's try it with 275. Maybe it'll open. Okay, punch the air. Carlos, Junpei, it unlocked. Now we can open it. Huh? A card? It's a picture of a syringe pointing at a candle. Must be some kind of hint if it was placed inside that locked locker. Okay, I know what we gotta do. I already sang a song. I sang Master of Disguise. Huh? The card said to inject the candle, so I did. It's not doing anything? I don't think the card's wrong, though. What are we missing? Oh, oh, oh boy. Oh boy. That's not locked, but it's no time to leave yet. But, 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 look! Like, how, we gotta see what the- we, we gotta figure out what this is! There's blood! It's blood! It's going out this door! Somebody's going- it's dead! Trash can! We could hide inside it. What would we do that for? Are you afraid of that zebra will come searching for us? Maybe we can squeeze into the lockers, but I doubt we fit into the trash can. I was just kidding, man. Don't take that so seriously. Okay. Maybe we'll get something if we put this puzzle together. Um, I've never been good at puzzles like this, so... It, I thought that I just put it on. Can I not just put it on? Do I actually have to, like... That's 
not gonna go there. Could go there. Ugh. I'm just trying to figure out why it's not letting me put the cube puzzle on the thing. Because I pick it up and I drag it over there, but it's not putting it anywhere. That I drag it. See? You can rotate the angle of the view to get a better view. Not much. Oh, until the pieces, pieces fit perfectly. Okay. That sucks. A cube must be created by switching the placement of pieces. Okay. I don't think this needs to go here. I think it needs to go here. That needs to go there. This needs to go... This one needs to be the one that's like in the back here. I'm just trying to figure this out real fast. Okay. So yeah, so that one is gonna go there. That one would go on top somewhere. That one doesn't have a hole. So that would be in the middle. That one doesn't have a hole, and that one doesn't have a hole. Okay. So would this one be on top? What about this one here? Does it have a hole? No, it, it doesn't, but it does have... Okay. That's not gonna go there, that's... I'm gonna say that well, this is obviously the bottom. I'm switching. Why isn't it letting me switch it? Okay, there we go. No, you didn't miss anything. I'm just trying to figure this out. And that would be on the bottom as well. Okay. Um, no, that would be on the side. So then we've got this, which would be probably here, I would say. No, not there. There. You come back here. All right, you, what are you? You need to be on... You need to be in the top. Okay. And then... You two need to switch places. Come on! Just switch like I ask. Okay. I did it without help, y'all! I did it without help! Go me! Okay, anyway. Alright, the puzzle's done. Something's coming out coming out of it. Oh, that was annoying. I need a sugar pick-me-up. Me too. Let's take a drink of some wild cherry Pepsi. Let's find the antidote, and we can look for candy in the lounge after, okay? Alright. I know where this card needs to go. This card needs to go here. Right there. Yeah, I did it on my- I've done most of this puzzle room on my own. You got the cube out of the way. Yeah, the cube wasn't that bad. I feel pretty amazing that I got this puzzle room done on my own. For the most part. Hey, it fits. 
Can we use the CT scanner now? Let's try it out. I sure hope nobody has metal on. Who did- oh gosh. I'll leave you two to work the machine. You can count on me. I'll make sure to slice you up, Junpei. Okay, technically you're not wrong, but you could have phrased it less terrifyingly. <laughs> The scan result is up on the display over the desk. We should go check it. Huh? The barcode reader's responding? Okay. If it's responding, why isn't it doing anything? Scan the barcode. This barcode reader may be used to scan whatever you wish. Controls, drag screen, scan barcode. A plus that scan bar. Oh, okay. All right, I see what I was doing. I scanned it! Seems this reader is responding to the barcode, but what did it say? I'm literally not getting anything from it. Even using the D-pad, I'm not getting anything from it. Try up and down. I always thought that barcodes were supposed to be scanned sideways. I feel like a printer. <sighs> oh crap. All right, well, let's scan everybody else and then we'll figure it out. Okay, where's the cat scan? All right. Hey, <laughs> get ready, Akane. Don't do anything weird while I'm lying on this, Junpei. Scan result is up on the display over the desk. Let's go check it out. Okay. Let's scan Carlos. Okay, Carlos, I'm gonna start the scan. Got it. I hope nothing bad shows up. Yeah, that's what I'm thinking. That's why I got all the barcodes. Alright. Hey, look! The results showed up on the display over the desk! Seems the reader is responding to the barcode. This thing just beeped. Check it out. The light under it turned green. Okay, well, let's see what that's about. A bottle of ink and a lug wrench. They must be needed for something since they were locked up in the drawer. Bottle of ink. Lug wrench. Okay. Doesn't look like the antidote's here. Let's check somewhere else. Alright. Um. Can we do something with the lug wrench on this? There's no way to open the cover. Alright. Well, let's try this again. Okay. 
Okay, so I, that's all I need to do. Okay, let's get the syringe back up. Hey, remember that card we found in the locker? Isn't it hitting to this candle? Oh my gosh, I'm gonna have to end soon. My back is killing me. Oh, I get it. So we need to inject the candle with this? Well, we can put the ink in now, so let's see what it does. The ink's spreading across the bottom half of the picture. This isn't creepy at all. So that card was hinting at injecting the candle. These two shapes on the side are strange. Wonder what they could be. The section kind of looks like a candle. Maybe we can inject that spot too. It's spreading to the top right. Does this part look like a candle to you? Maybe we can inject it here too. Now it's spreading up and left. Um. It looks like there's a bolt in this X mark here. Maybe the wrench can take it off. Looks like there's a bolt in this X mark. Let's use the wrench to take it off. Any more? Oh. This X mark seems to have a bolt inside. Maybe we can get it off with the wrench. The X mark here seems to have a bolt in it. Maybe we can get it off with the wrench. Whoa, the picture slid up. Something came out. What's this? Looks like there's something inside the glass. Could that be the antidote? The numbers are there, but what is the combination? Why don't we just turn it until it clicks? I doubt it will be that easy. What other items do I have? This. It's a stethoscope. We can use it to hear sounds. Okay, cool. That's what we need. All right. Maybe we can use a stethoscope to hear the unlocking sound. Let's hope this works. Okay, everyone, be quiet. Um. The numbers on the dial for this case must be matched correctly three times or you'll be unable to unlock it. Remember, clockwise, counterclockwise, and clockwise again. Oh, snap. way easier. Yes, I think it's unlocked. Way to go, Carlos. Let's open it up. Case doesn't look like they could contain an antidote. A, B, C, all the way to H. There are eight cases. And each has a button with a small container. Just what are these? You found it. After we get this story, I'm probably going to end because I am, my back is killing me. Congratulations, C-Team. It appears you've successfully found the antidote. The poison must be circulating through and making you feel heavy right now. No. But do not worry. Your lives shall be spared if you drink 100 cc of the antidote within the case. Oh, you have the to case. drink it? Uh, this case? It should be obvious that there are eight containers labeled A through H. Vials of liquid are within each of these containers. Only one 
container holds the antidote. The other seven are dummies. By pressing the red button in the center, the lock to that container will disengage. Only one may be opened, however. What? So if we're wrong, we'll... Still, I am not so cruel. I shall give you a hint. Thanks. Sitting beneath each button is a sample of the liquid stored within. It is only one cc, but it is enough to provide a clue to its validity. Okay. The antidote has a peculiar characteristic. All right. Three minutes after you lick it, the tip of your tongue will become numb. You have five minutes remaining. If my calculations are correct, the poison will have spread completely through you by then, and your life is forfeit. Are we seriously going to be Which tied? Which case will you open then? The choice is yours. What do we do? What the hell do we do? Why do we want- we don't Maybe want Maybe we should go left to right and lick each one. Ew. I'll take A. Carlos, grab B. Akane, you take C. No. We can't rely on that method to work. Why? It takes three minutes before we know anything either way. That would be alright if we picked the correct one, but if we didn't... We're all dead. Yeah. So, what do we- Junpei, just calm down. There's a better way. First, Carlos. You need to lick E, F, G, and H. Okay. Next, Junpei. You lick samples C, D, G, and H. Okay. As for me, I'll take samples B, D, F, and H. Why is everybody licking What about H? A? We don't need to test that one. Why? We don't have time. Just do as I say. Yeah, All right. zero poison, though. Let's trust Akane. Everybody is licking H. COVID. Whoa, whoa. This feeling. <laughs> Carlos, I think one of mine was it. You too? Mine's working too. And me! The tip of my tongue is numb. <laughs> so, all three of us? That means... The answer... The answer must be... Oh, Akane! H! Hey, what's wrong? Uh... Ah, shit! Our resistances, they must be different. Ah, it looks yeah, like the poison, poison. Uh, got to her faster. So what should we do now? What was that method Akane came up with? We'll have to make the decision ourselves. The answer. What's the answer? I well, licked samples E, F, G, and H. Duh. Junpei had C, D, G, and H. Akane licked B, D, F, and H. And then, all three of us felt it. In that case, the they all three had D and they all three had H. Um. Okay. Oh, he didn't like. Okay, he didn't have E F G. He did E F G. C, D, G, and H, all right. B, D, F, and H, all right. So yeah, it's definitely H. No, it's H. Oh, why are there six? Uh, zero said. That we'd need a hundred oh, wow. cc's of the antidote. That poison is being uh, Doesn't that mean that each of those are 50 cc's? No, I'm pretty sure these are 100 cc. Uh, so, uh, there are three left over. Yeah, because... Uh, uh, whatever. We got it right. Uh, didn't we, Carlos? Yeah. There's three more people. I'm positive. They said the six of us had to find it. <gasps> June, Bay. Uh, hang on, Akane. Shut it down the throat. Come on. Hurry, get her the medicine. Yeah, I know. 
We need to take it too. <sighs> right. Okay, down the hatch. We gotta mm. find the other team. Mm. Mm. No, that's... Junpei. So it was an H? Oh, it was, okay. I'm really sorry. I just suddenly fainted and... No, it's okay. Your plan still saved us. Yes. Yeah. Huh. Still, six vials of antidote is kind of strange. Why so many? Because there was another hmm. team. What are the other three for? The other team. Now announcing the current casualties. Q team. Q. Mira. <gasps> Eric. These three are now deceased. As a result, three X passes will be revealed. I. Kill. That is all. Q team is. So that How was could Q they? team. Even Q. He couldn't even see or hear when. Ugh, to just mercilessly kill someone like that. That was you guys. <sighs> so I guess that means only us and D team are still alive. There's uh, gotta be a way to get the to everybody. Wait a minute. Everybody. I the think D team everyone. might be in danger right now. Carlos! Junpei! Grab the antidote and get to the lounge! Hey, what are you- No time to explain! Hurry! What if it was- I think it was Q-Team. I think it was Q-Team that was in the lounge. These are an antidote. Please drink them, Akane. When Zero spoke to us, I realized something. Oh, is that the Q-Team? weren't the only okay, ones to be administered the poison. I, we jump around so much, I forget, like, what teams or where we are and what teams. Oh, the six of you will fall asleep. Only to never again consciousness again. I'd have to look at the global chart. Huh. You're right. He did say six back then. Yes. And now Q team is... So the other three are... Everyone on D team. I just hope these actually get to them. Come on. Will he even reach it. them in time? The only thing we can do now is pray. What? That he'll be in time? Or... Or... That he doesn't make it and there'll be six people dead. Oh, God. That's what you meant, right? Junpei! I'm kidding. Oh, but God, I mean, it's you true, sound though. like my mom. It's true, though. Junpei ain't lying. He ain't gonna color code it. Not you don't really you. look all right, Carlos. Maybe the poison's not completely gone yet. Uh, no, that's not it. We're gonna find out some You're more Carlos stories. Worried about the D team then? Um, Junpei, this might sound messed up to you, but I s I saw something earlier, like a vision. So now we know he's an Esper. Ooh. A vision? Junpei, your head. It was in the pantry. Just your head. <laughs> he's telling us he's the armor type. <laughs> what the hell? My gosh, how creepy can your laugh be? This guy literally just told you your head was in a freezer and you're gonna laugh like the Wicked Witch of the West? Okay, all right. Ah, that's cool. All right, dude, you do you, man. Are you smoking, Carlos? <laughs> I'm fine. See? Look, all limbs attached and accounted for. Maybe it was like a prophecy or something. I highly doubt you're seeing into the future. I agree. I don't think you're predicting what will happen. It's not the future you saw, but a different past. 
So now we're gonna hear about espers and how they work in this. What do you mean? You know, don't you, Junpei? Morphogenetic field theory. A special field exists in a dimension we can't see that acts as a medium for information. Mm -hmm. This may be what's happening. I think Carlos accessed that field and saw another history. He could have. What? Remember what you said during the vote? You can tell down which path death waits and which is safe. Yeah, but that's just my gut feeling. Are you sure? Yeah, he saw this, he's an Where are you going with this? You're a firefighter, right? There must have been countless times when you found yourself facing danger. Better to go right or left. Go upstairs or turn back. Yeah. Maybe every time you made a decision, you were observing the other histories. Which that would be such a hard job to have. I am so thankful for people that run into fires to save people and do what they can to get rid of the fires because that is a really, that can be a really deadly job. Which room held someone needing your help? Which door blocked an inferno? You knew because you saw it happen already. Morphogenetic field theory. Why do you know all this, Akane? Because I have the same ability as you. And Junpei can do it too. He saved me once. It's thanks to his power that I'm even here at all. That was a long time ago. So we now know that I, all three of them are experts. I haven't been able to use it since. On this team. Even now. So that's I, cool to know. Greetings. How does it feel to revive from the brink of hell? Zero. Now it is time for you to sleep. When next you wake, know you will have no memory of these past 90 minutes. So nobody died. Pleasant dream. Because of us. Nobody died because of us. I don't like that Zero is the first person we see when we wake up and he's the last person we see when we go to sleep. No. I don't want to see your face no more, Zero. Achievement unlocked. Down the hatch. Okay. What's this one? Alright, we're doing the antidote is. We're going to do the wrong choice on purpose just to see what happens. And then I'm going to end. The My tongue! It... It's doing the tingly numb thing! I've got nothing. What about you, Akane? If only Junpei's gone numb, then the answer is... What? It changes every oh, time? Akane! Hey, what's wrong? Uh... Ah, shit! Our resistances, they must be different. It changes uh, every time? It looks like the poison uh, got to her faster. So what should we do? I, only Junpei felt numb. Okay. In that case, the container with the antidote is... Find of folks who look at walkthroughs. Oh my gosh. I didn't expect it to be different. Okay. I'll have to look at the log again because I can't remember. Okay. Akane liked B, D, F, and H. Junpei had C, D, G, and H. I like samples E, F, G, and H. So it would be C. It would be C. But I feel like I might be getting a different ending because I got different dialogue. Yeah. So I'll go with C. So it legit changes every single time. <laughs> All right, let's let's pick the wrong answer on purpose. I was just like surprised that it changed the dialogue. That's super epic. Congratulations.
啊，啊，哎，呜，一，二，啊，一，呜，哎，哦，卡，起，酷，给，够。Oh, why are there six? Zero. Yes. I'm sorry, you guys. Damn you, Carlos. That's literally gonna be your last words. That was harsh. His last words were legit, damn you, Carlos. All right. Well, it is almost time to end. I have been going almost 12 or two hours. And like I said, I've not been really feeling that good. We have three more, it looks like, for C Team that we'll hopefully get to tomorrow. Um... Okay, so th this is how much I've done so far. This is like the global. At least he went out with angry motivation. Yeah. Um, didn't unlock anything new here. So, yeah. Yeah, I am planning on if I still feel really bad tomorrow morning, because I it's been three days now that I've been thinking I might be getting a sinus infection, or bronchitis. I'm planning on going to the walk-in clinic and doing that. Hopefully I'll get home in time to actually stream. I was right on that ending connecting to a cute team execution. Yep, this that was that was interesting. All right, I'm going to save one more time. But I am going to end it here for now. Thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed it. We will be playing this again tomorrow as long as I I'm feeling okay and haven't been told by the doctor that I need to to rest or take it easy. So thank you for watching. It will be, the replay will be on YouTube uh, Monday? Monday, I think. Monday or Tuesday. So look forward to that. But much love, everybody. Mwah! Go out there. Go spread some love and positivity today because you never know who needs it. And I hope to see you guys tomorrow as long as I'm feeling good and as long as it doesn't take too long at the doctor if I go to the doctor at 4 p.m. Central Standard Time on YouTube with Animal Crossing New Horizons. We're going to be doing a lot of stuff. You, mi Yeah, you missed the whole stream, but that's okay, Unknown Soul. You can always rewatch it. I'll be posting it. I'll be posting it on YouTube on Monday. So you'll be able to rewatch it then. Not a big deal. But I hope you all have a good night. I hope you all sleep well. And I hope to see you guys tomorrow. Have a good rest of the night, guys. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you later. Bye, everyone!